What's up guys, Jay Little here for more pack crackers. It is two for Tuesday where I open up two packs. One, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two. I don't know if I counted correctly, but anyway, two packs. Uh, this time, Guilds of Ravnica. I'm going to go through the commons and uncommons real quick, talk about the rares and or all the mythics. Listen to the crack on that pack. It's exciting. Uh, remember, you can pause to read about the commons or uncommons if you need to. I've got a wish coin crab. Uh, sure Strike, Righteous Blow, the most, most Righteous of Blows, Vidalkin Mesmerist, Hitchclaw Recluse, uh, Spinal Centipede, Centa, Spinal Pede, Goblin Electromancer, Siege Worm, uh, Boros Locket, keep it in your pocket. Don't know why I'm picking up two at a time, it seems like, this whole video. Uh, House Guild Mage, one of the good Guild Mages of uh, Magic the Gathering, or good-ish Guild Mage, is my first uncommon. Electrostatic Field, my second uncommon. Last uncommon, Flight of the Equinauts. Flight of Equinauts, I should say. Ooh, got a mythic, guys. Look at that, Ral. Is it Viceroy? Three, a blue, and a red for Legendary Planeswalker. Ral comes in with five counters. It's plus one. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other on other into your graveyard. It's minus three is this deals damage to target creature. Uh, equal to the total number. The letters are small. I'm sorry. Uh, equal to the num total number of instant and sorcery cards you own in exile and in your graveyard. It's minus 8 is you get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, this emblem deals 4 damage to any target and you draw 2 cards. Wow, that's really good. That last effect, real good. Ooh, and I got, oh, Overgrown Tomb. That's got I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up right now. This is a foil Overgrown Tomb. This has got to be worth a couple of dollars let's see what it is but anyway while i look this up on my phone here's my phone uh you can't really see anything i'm going to cardi kingdom to look up the cost so as of i'm recording this when this actually comes out it could be completely different costs there but anyway overgrown tomb is a land slash four swamp uh add black or green enters the battlefield you may pay two life if you do if you don't it enters the battlefield tap so i guess Shockland, I think it's called. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Let's see what the foil version of this is worth. It's got to be a couple bucks. One would hope. Um, price price high to low. I usually get my cards and stuff that I buy from cardkingdom.com. It's my favorite shop. But yeah, you can get your cards wherever you feel you fucking need to, guys. Fucking buy them from everywhere. All right, Overgrown Tomb, not a whole lot of money, 16 bucks, but you know what? Guess what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Then I got uh, Demir Guildgate and the Soldier Token. Foil, man, that's a good one. Raul, is it? Dude, that's a, that's a good pack right there. That's a good pack. I'm happy with this pack. Hopefully, we'll get another Mythic or two, or another Foil Rare, even. This might be the best two for Tuesday ever. Um, so let's go through these, through these real quick. Skyline Scout, uh, Pass Wall Adept, uh, Maximize Velocity, Wary O Copy, uh, veil, Veiled Shade, Veiled Shade, Veiled Shade, Luminous Bonds, Ver, Vernadi Shieldmate, Piss and Piss Cyclops, uh, Pitiless Gorgon. Hammer Dropper, Crawl uh, Harpooner is my first uncommon. Remember, you can pause and read about them. Hellkite Whelp, a little Durgan. Uh, Pilfering Imp, my last uncommon. My rares, Assassin's Trophy. So, as far as rares go, this is one of the more expensive rares. Uh, so, that's pretty good, too. Let me check the cost on... For a non-foil rare, I should say. It's like... Top five, at least. So let me look that up. Since we got a big money, big big money, y'all. Yeah, this is a fourteen dollar card right here, guys. Fourteen bucks. So we got that. We got what was this one? Twelve dollars or something like that. I don't remember already. 
We've got Ral is it Viceroy. Let me see what that's worth. Uh, Ral is Viceroy is, is seven fifty as of right now. So seven bucks we'll say. Uh, fourteen for the Assassin's Trophy. That's uh, math, math, math. Twenty one dollars we'll say. Plus the foil, uh, Overgrown Tomb. What's that one? Well, we're at twenty one. Uh, uh, let me find it again. I forgot already. So we're at twenty one with that card. It's gonna be an extra sixteen. So with thirty seven dollars worth of cards, I just got in these two packs alone. Holy behazus, guys! Uh, Selesny so Gilgay and Stuck. Who gives a shit about them? Uh, especially, uh, I'm not gonna say this is the best two for Tuesday, but it's it's up there. It is up there. Uh, so topic. Normally, I'd tell you about the two best packs you get. If you want to leave that comment, that's fine. But what I'm gonna talk about, I got to me a Jurgen. Tell me your favorite uh, movie or TV show related to a dragon. Uh, did you like Dragon's Lair, the cartoon? Did you like? Um, Dragon Hearts, Sean Connery, Sean Connery, Trebek. My favorite dragon related movie or show was probably Reign of Fire. I know it was just your typical action. There's explosions, there's fire, there's Matthew McConaughey jumps into a dragon's mouth. I think it was Matthew McConaughey, it might have been Christian Bale, I don't remember. But anyway, somebody dr jumped into a dragon's mouth and got eaten real quick. But tell me your favorite dragon-related media, even if it's like a comic book or something. Uh, do you maybe maybe you like Smog, Smog? Uh, so you're a Hobbit fan? Let me know in the comments below. We'll have a chat about it, perhaps. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. What was it? Thirty-six bucks, thirty-seven bucks that we got in this in this two for Tuesday. Pretty pretty good. Later, guys. Bye.